Now I think it's it's a good time to actually start with a foreground. So let's just make a completely new layer. So we have a little bit more room to, to actually to experiment. And in this case I would just take a big big brush and like give it just a little little bit of, of a hill here, or something that really like goes goes along with this background with this cur like this tilted line that is very dominant in the picture so we can flow flow along with this and then maybe indicate that there's a little pathway or something that like goes down here to to this to this castle or to this temple. And now we can even go go as far as making some compositional like changes and really digging into the the not yet done artwork itself. So we are we we want it to be somehow of an artwork so we just we just start experimenting. So what I just did is I pressed let me repeat this real quick I just pressed C and like especially in this newer version in Photoshop it's quite cool you can just drag this out and depending on what background color you have of course for me that's white and you just extend your screen and now by pressing M I just select part of the layer that we just merged so it's not the the new layer but the layer below and now we just press control J again as we did before and with control T I just have this little patch selected that I just oops right there was this shift thing <laughs> so pressing control T and now holding shift you just extend this last bit like let's see if we are getting over the picture here that should work we're making it a bit bigger right there so we just don't have to like give this whole part a new texture we just duplicate part of of the picture and that should be fine so like this this could be an interesting format and now we just merge that layer into our background and paint over it just go for that go for that nasty like cut in the picture and just like beautify it a little bit make it a bit more gentle and, and see where you land just like that okay so hardly like barely recognizable that something happened right here <laughs> just kidding so it's it's actually it's it's gonna it's gonna become better I'm, I mean there's like lots of paint over to do but it's important to get the the idea across for, for the viewer so so you really tell the viewer like look this is the this is the composition and something will happen right here like this could be like a nice position for like a or here like a foreground character really really approaching this this temple and and maybe maybe we're like walking along this path right here so let's just see where we where we get with this I'm quite curious all right so now that we've done this we can start giving our foreground some some texture, some some idea of, of what is happening, and I and I love to go with it like grass to have like these big, like grassy, um, like really the the single grass strokes that they that they just become visible. Let me see if this is like there's this nice tilt brush. It might be a better brush on it, and. It's just to indicate that there's actually a real foreground and it might feel strange in the beginning to just draw like single grass blades <laughs> but it's just an it's just an approach to 
to to give yourself an idea of, of where you're at and and how you want to to decorate this picture basically so what i want to do is is basically i want to create a little the illusion of a little hill so like just behind there the character will like come out with his head so like maybe i demonstrated it here it's a bit more clearly visible like like if the character stands like this it appears like there's a little hill and he's standing on on another part on another layer of the picture and i like this technique you can you can do this like even with multiple characters starting like from for some starting like almost on that on that height and then there's another character standing a little bit lower like in there and then the other one is almost like just barely visible like this and so you can really like indicate some nice like like shapes of, of foreground as if the the arrow would just disappear Hang on, maybe you choose a bright arrow so if I would draw an arrow it would just like disappear right here behind the background so I think it's it's clear the the basic idea and like this is what we what we can try just just by like formulating for ourselves how how this thing is is, is actually looking and then we have this this thing with like basically level of detail and now we we clearly see that these bushes might already be too too small maybe it would be nicer to have like some tree here or something that really like shows like hey this area right here is already a bit further away and it's already it's quite large so we really want to play with the scale so let's see i have some nice oh that's large some tree brushes over there and that could be actually quite interesting look at this that's kind of cool oh, maybe that one that, that is it um, and then I have some nice smaller that looks also kind of scary I don't want to make it look scary actually I want to make it look a little bit like lush too but it's really important to keep the like to keep the the language basically to to also make the foreground to, to keep the foreground aesthetics because it's so fast that this that you have this kind of like maybe like, like a horror scenario or something <laughs> and we don't want that for now so um yeah the, the good thing is i have this separate layer so i can play around a little bit with like the foreground object and I decide to make this tree even a little bit smaller so there can be more yeah basically more of a like more space for this area where you can see the little cloud and, and things so I think this is quite quite important and then give it back the like make it make it clearer to read easier to read the picture right there there we go so that should be the position of our tree it a little bit more a little clearer shape there we go some more trees okay and now I'm just like looking for some nice like grassy brush maybe I'll take that one too should do it also like really painting kind of a foreground textury thingy and 
doesn't matter if it just looks rough in the beginning just make sure that that you give it some texture you give it something that the eye can can hold on to although it might, it might look chaotic in the beginning and then you just slowly like sneak your sneak your way up up the ladder into something that is more like visually appealing so let's see what we have here some dotted brushes so that's the eraser oh that actually goes here um and there we go that might be a yeah that's a nice brush so here you see i'm now making like some nicer strokes that actually flow along just like that and then we want to have some ambient colors too like for the background some of that grass in the background too This is like a good way. Yeah, this is like interesting to just use this mixer brush for the tree. Kind of works. So I'm just playing around with this. I'm just using whatever comes to my mind. to make that really like readable that way over here and now just give it some much clearer and much softer like textures just because this is still quite harsh when I look at this I'm just like trying to really work on another detail level right now like and, and whatever you see like is not following in the image is like still yeah like like having a hard time to be readable basically you just like instantly go to that part and start working on it so it becomes almost like a rhythm Oh, that's actually quite a dark color. That's interesting. So now I'm now I already see something that is that is happening here, and that is that our our temple is is pretty dark. Like when when we look at how far it is in the background, and this also solves this this little problem that we have right here with with the whole like separation with the visual separation and, and and things like that so i'm just going to select this whole whole thing again um going on the layer below let's just see how how much we did okay that's interesting that's interesting um i'm just going to make this little selection here and then there's like a a very funny technique how you can actually like cut off your like 
lower tones and like I'm doing the following I'm just pressing M uh, control M to open the curves and then instead of like working uh, with these curves here I just like click on this little pen right there and then I just see like of how much of the lower tones I can just like cut off and you can already see what's happening this is like a very like it's almost like surgery it's like a very gentle and and soft task <laughs> that you have to get used to kind of but you we can we can already see in this result that it's it's very interesting like it's it's getting there so I just press OK and maybe work on another curve, this time using the actual curves here, making it a little brighter. There we go. That should be it. OK. It's, oh yeah, that is, that is much better. This is much better. So let's, let's check out the difference, like this was it before. And that's it now. So you can clearly see like how how this is literally like jumping in the background. And I'm not saying like this is not also like a, a nice motive to work like fully in shadow and have this harsh like contrast on the edge. However, like if you if you want to add a certain scale and a certain depth, you choose basically I literally have to say a different photo. So it's it's almost like you're using a different lens if, if you want to say, say something else and if you want to like really well it's also kind of like selling it's really like selling the eye uh, a story that you want to like wanted to buy and you really wanted to look at it and be like oh yeah okay this is like this is the photograph and that's the overall vision and try to make it as like basically the the product for the eye as as best as you can do just so it can ju just so it like like f falls for the f for the same vision and it's it's something that that you have to fall for first <laughs> so you have to you have to kind of when whenever you make decisions and um basically yeah, t taking a, a photo with your mind, you have to be the first one who, who who believes in it and who really like, yeah, like st tries to put it to to work. So yeah, let's not go, let's not go too philosophical here, as we're we're on the on the technical side, and um, let's just continue adding some detail and really look if we can. some parts out here. 